I was a basic science nerd in high school and went to college as an honors biology and chemistry major. I got caught in a thunderstorm. The building I happened to go into was the theater and I got a part in a play and it's all been downhill from there. So eventually I took too many courses and in my fourth university, the University of Washington, I graduated and uh, had always been interested in mime and went off to Paris to study at the Lecoq School of Mime Movement and Theater. And I came back. Uh, I moved to Minneapolis, where I started working in outdoor festivals. I was a rope walker and juggler. And I had about a five minute rope walking act, which I did. I tied up between two trees. And if, if I did the act, I attracted a huge crowd. And then I would get down off the rope, start juggling, and people would start leaving. So I developed the conceit of starting to tie up the rope, getting distracted, seemingly improvising things with things that, and people that I found in the audience, and then eventually walking the rope to finish the show. So I became known as the guy with the five minute rope walking act who'll do anything to avoid doing it. And I was in New York, basically on my way to move to Europe where I'd had some success. And there was a little clown theater festival uh, in New York City. And I got an absolute love letter in the New York Times. Uh, one thing led to another and I became the first solo clown to ever play on Broadway. And then when that show closed, I went on to Morocco and France where I filmed The Jewel of the Nile. I noticed in years and years of performing that when I go to the theater and it works, it is a, truly a hypnotic trance experience. I lose all sense of time, body awareness, and it's the most wonderful feeling. The uh, reason I was interested is that many, if not all of my students have some level of stage fright. And I know that hypnosis is the preferred method for dealing with stage fright. And I thought maybe I would be able to help people with that. So I came up for a weekend and I fell in love with the island. And two weeks later, I flew back up and I bought a, a small cottage and uh, have been here for the past 35 years. And it's, it's absolutely perfect. It's the kind of place where you don't need turn signals on your car because everybody already knows where you're going. I was in a long run in a theater and I strained the ligaments in my foot and was hobbling around. I came to the theater the next afternoon and the director of the theater asked me how my foot was. I said, well, it hurts. He watched me walk and said, can you do the show tonight? And I said, of course I can. He said, how? I said, look, our humor is based on laughing at the misfortunes of others. If he's old and bald and gray and limping, it's gonna be a good show. 